Hello and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Oh boy, check it out. <laughs> I was just emptying out Silphco and I found Flamethrower. Holy crap. Uh, that is going to make Charizard viable. Who would have thought? Finally. Uh, it is seriously about time, but here it is. Oh, Flamethrower. Oh boy. Indigo could learn it too. Is there any reason why we'd want to do that? I don't think so, honestly. Oh my god, finally this thing can be a fire type again. <laughs> god, that was annoying. Um, what do you do here? I feel like you get rid of Thunder Punch. Doesn't really have any good usage uh, for us right now. Maybe at some point we can reteach re it to uh, Indigo. But actually, I think Indigo has Thunderbolt, right? Might be better to swap it for Thunder Punch. Let's see. Uh, he does still have Thunderbolt, and yeah, it would be a much better idea to do Thunder Punch. So let's do that. All right, cool. A little bit of an improvement for the team. Uh, I mean, a huge improvement for Charizard. I still can't believe that the only two Fire-type moves it learns is Ember and uh, Fire Spin. Until, well, at least level 41. That's as far as we could have brought him. 41, he might learn it. No. Oh, wait, what am I doing going down the stairs? We can use the elevator. There's still a couple of items to find. Uh, in self -co, but I was doing it off camera until I found Flamethrower. I was like, okay, I have to start recording now. But, uh, yeah. Happy boy, indeed, for finding that. A lot of work's piled up, so we need to get cracking. Yeah, all the, I noticed all of the NPCs in there have new dialogue. <laughs> so, of all the attention for them to put into something, why that, right? Whatever. Uh, Bilbo, you did it. You beat Giovanni, right? That archer guy made uh, a run for it, so I chased him all the way out here, and then all the Team Rocket grunts ran uh, straight. Er, yeah, ran out of Saffron City too. Sorry, I have my mic covering the text box, so it's hard to, to see anything. Guess we're lucky you're such a strong trainer, Bilbo. To be honest, I was a little scared. Scared? I was a little scared. Uh, like what would have happened to us if <clears throat> if it turned out the bad guys were the strongest, you know? Or were the strongest, comma, you know? <laughs> but you and me. We really managed to save self. I'm gonna move the microphone over, it's gonna make a bit of noise. Sorry about that. Now I can actually see the whole screen though. <laughs> Nobody will have to go through a cue ball and went through ever again. All right, now that everything's back to normal, I guess it's time for the next gym. You heard, or have you been to Saffron City? Uh, how many badges have you got? That many? Huh, wow. Maybe we'll both make it all the way to the Pokemon League. Uh, let's both give it our best shot, see ya. Okay. So I guess today's episode is going to be mainly, whoa, oh, oh. <laughs> going to be mainly geared around uh, finishing off the path to um, Saffron City because we didn't quite finish that. Right, you have to go here for it. I was pressing the wrong buttons. Boy. Kirby's looking curiously at his own reflection in your eyes. Okay. Uh, Sky Dash. And then we go. I guess the quickest way would still be just to be, or would still just be to go to uh, Fuchsia. Oh wait, Fuchsia? No, we're after Saffron City. Where's Saffron? Saffron City. Sa wait, no, we're in Saffron. He must have said. Did he? Say <laughs> Did he say? Have you ever heard of Saffron? Because we're in Saffron right now. Hang on. What? What's the next gym? It's been too long. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not Sabrina, right? Are we already there? No, no. Next up is Koga. Okay, so yeah, we are going to Fuchsia. I must have just read wrong. So let's do that. And then, Super Technique, Sky Dash. Excuse the cars in the background. Um, and then Fuchsia City. So then what we're going to do right away here is just head to the right. Uh, as soon as we get in there. It looked like we were using... Uh, or er, fly for er, blah, blah, blah. looks like we were using fly on Charizard English all right to the right to the right uh, and then we're gonna clear out this route because we never did it a because they were really high level and B because I realized that if we kept doing that would be super over leveled for um, for Silphco here we are that's a Pidgeotto don't need it that's a weep bell a weeping bell don't need it I know we can actually use Charizard. I think we're leading with Golbat right now, and I should have healed because I think he's low. But uh, yeah, we're actually gonna be able to use Charizard, thank god. And it's gonna be amazing. So yeah, we're leading with Pumpkin, who is hurt, I believe. And doesn't have any poison type move to hit this thing with either, so we're just gonna have to switch. And then I guess you swap into Indigo and hit it with a nasty Thunder Punch. 
That's probably how you want to take or how you want to take care of this. If, uh, if we had a poison jab TM, believe me, I'd be giving it to gold that. Right, oh my god. Um, we're faster, right? I feel like we gotta be faster, but it's a Dodrio. Okay, no, we're good. I sort of second guessed myself there. Because Dodrio is pretty fast. I think you can ride it in this game. Uh, but we're good. Nothing to worry about. I knew it would one shot. I mean, Thunder Punch is gonna be a really nice move for Indigo. It's a monster. Uh, hey, let's. I mean, we could go heal, but it's, I think it might be a little bit quicker to just potion back up. Oh yeah, that's right. We are gonna have to buy. I mean, we're out of we're out of battle. You might as well just use like super potions. Um, we do have to buy some potions as soon as possible. Forgot about that little little fact. Oh boy. So I, I was supposed to be able to record a whole bunch today. I'm only gonna get to record like two videos. So hopefully in those two days, I catch a shiny Magikarp. Uh, otherwise, I'm gonna have to be rushing to get another one out, basically. Uh, yeah, the goal is to record two videos tonight. Uh, I shouldn't go to bed too late because of that. And then we should be good. Ooh, Growlithe. Uh, pumpkin. What can Pumpkin do here? I guess just go for wing attacks. Pumpkin kind of dropped off. It was doing really good for a, a little bit there, but it's it definitely needs a, a good little kick here. From like a you know a learning poison jab or something like that. Until then, we're gonna have problems with this thing. Oh my god, you can't give me that kind of angle here. This is a kid's game. What are you thinking, Nintendo? Alright, next is gonna be okay, she's got three crowdless. <laughs> Maybe she'll surprise me with an Arcanine, but I doubt it. Wing attack. We can roost if uh, we wanna make this battle take longer. Outrage! That's outrageous. Get this thing with a roost. Well, I mean, I guess I'm hitting myself with a roost. Whatever. Okay. Uh, is it worth just pushing roost again? Probably not, actually. Let's just kill this thing. Hopefully whatever she's got in, in the back uh, isn't able to kill me in one go. It's going to be another Growlithe. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it, uh, it has, like, I don't know, thunder or something. Who knows? Um, let's just swing attack. And then we'll boost, like, to get near to full health. Play rough. Okay, that's going to be, hopefully, yeah, nothing. So, we can get almost full here. Perfect. Roost. And we'll kill this thing with a wing attack and be just one player off away from full health. So I will take that. Oh, never mind, it has outrage. Well, <laughs> that's a bit of a shame. But uh, nothing we can do about this without taking an hour of the episode. So let's just do that. Alright. I don't know what this pose is that I'm, I'm recording in right now. I've never done this. Either I normally sit straight or I've got. Uh, you know, I, I'm just laid back in my chair, and normally I'm like, oh, stop laying back in your chair, lazy bum. You know, you're lowering the quality of the audio. But today, I'm leaning forward. Never done that before. <laughs> it's weird. Uh, I, I'm comfortable though, so I'll keep it. I'll keep her going like this. An item there and a venonet. Oh my god, this Pidgeot or Pidgeotto. I think you might have been stuck on the Pokeball there. It's weird. Ooh, make it around, okay. More battles. Oh boy. Fork over all your cash when you lose to me, kid. Fork <laughs> it over. I sound like fucking Daft Punk. <laughs> Doesn't he have a, a song that goes like, over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, um. Oh, what's that song called? The, the one that's like, faster. I think it's called Faster, Better, Stronger, right? At the end, it goes, over. <laughs> That's my Daft Punk impression for you. Wing attack. Oh, just not a two shot. Slam. That's such a weird attack. I've always hated slam. It's like, I don't know. Could you really come up with a least, uh, a less creative name? I mean, even things with like that are called like growl, right? At least it's like, okay, sure. It 
it itself doesn't have a unique name, but it has like a unique effect, right? It's like you growl at them. Oh, they hit you less hard. You know, whatever. Shut up. I'm, I'm trying to make talk here. Don't laugh at me. Um, but yeah, when it comes to slam, it's just a move that does damage. <laughs> and it's called slam. And then there's a better move called body slam. So stupid. I keep I keep reading pink guy Ernest or pink guy whatever. It's bringing back the memories. Okay. Uh, you know I, I think I I not too long ago covered like uh, pink guy moving over to Joji or just filthy Frank moving over to Joji uh, or moving back to Joji I guess. But uh, I feel like I, I left that conversation with like a, a negative way. You know, sort of like saying oh fuck him for doing what he loves that's not what I'm, i was saying at all like i, I genuinely love joji's music I, there he hasn't made a, a song that i haven't loved um but i just wish that he could have split himself in two and kept one frank or kept one sorry i'm so used to saying frank when i talk to my friends kept one george doing filthy frank and one doing joji i think then the world could be perfect but, uh, unfortunately, we don't live in one of those, so I'm going to sneeze now. I promise you I'm not crying. No, okay. I can't sneeze. Oh, it's coming back. No. <laughs> that one snuck up on me. Hey, we got it. Okay, I'm going to have to blow my nose now. You know the drill. I'm getting my mic. And we're back. Okay. Uh, wing attack. Jeez, this thing is tanky. Is that armor? I thought it was special defense. I said armor. Is it physical? It is. Okay, so that's why we're not doing crap. Uh, I think we'll just go for like two more wing attacks. Oh man, I, it might take a third. And if it does, I'll be real peeved. Let's hope. Please? Okay, that must have been like exactly min-max sort of territory right there. We take it. <laughs> Last toy's leveling up. I don't get it. Alright. Alright. Let's go up here. Eh, you know what? No, we should go and, and do all these boys first. I think we fought her, right? Oh, no, I guess not. So all the boys and the girl. <laughs> We might have gotten all the punk guys up there. I feel like we did. Anyways. Ace Trainer Kingdra? What? Or no, it was Kindra. Not King. So. Kindra. That's not an. I don't know if I. I blah, 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 blah. English. I don't know if I have ever heard someone named Kindra. I've heard Kendra. But I don't know if I've ever at least met anyone called Kindra. I don't even just heard about that. That's a unique ass name. Surf. Oh my god, look at this animation! Dude, you're dead. <laughs> you don't live after that. They hit you and they put on a show. There's no way. Uh, mm, see, I'd love to go into Indigo, but Surf is gonna hurt real bad. I think you just swap into Blastoise and kinda just hope you can kill it with like some tackles, I guess. I don't know. Let's we'll, we'll see what happens. Maybe we can do a big prediction here. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go for a big prediction. Well, first, let's see what it what it wants to use against uh, Blastoise. Hopefully, it uses like thunder or something. Is that what you're doing? Let's see. Or you know, just an electric. No, it's still going for surf. Okay, good thing I didn't. I, my plan was to move uh, Earth to swap back into Needle King. That was a really loud move. Uh, and then hopefully, you know, he'd use like tackle or something or she <laughs> and then it would do less than surf but it just went for surf again so I guess we're tackling yeah, all right this is what it's doing it might be its only attack and then it, it would be like thunderbolt for I'm guessing it's, it's that she's gonna have all three uh, eons but uh, I'm, I'm gonna guess like thunderbolt on jolting what the heck was that I think I'm going crazy. I heard my Xbox turn on, but it's on. That's how I record. Hmm. 
Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, Thunderbolt for, for Jolteon, and then maybe like Fire Blast for Flareon. I don't know. Maybe just a uh, flamethrower. I feel like, uh, like Fire Blast is a more signature move for Flareon, though. We should kill here, right? Right? Yeah, sure. Okay, good. I love Vaporeon. It's one of my favorite designs from Gen 1. Not my favorite, just like in the top 10, I'd say. As a kid, I loved Sand Slash, but I really hate his 3D model. I think they did such a shitty job on it. Uh, I feel like we're good to just hit Bubble Beam here, right? Like, this should just win. Ooh, no, it didn't. Okay, well, we're going to take a big oof here. <laughs> but I thought that would do it. Hmm. By the way, am I going crazy or do we have a TM for Waterfall? Because if we do, then when we get uh, our shiny Gyarados, it's going to be over. <laughs> Um, so like, we have a Sand Flash at 30% health, not even. I mean, Pumpkin can probably come in and wing attack it, let's be honest. It's got a really good attack stat, and just give this thing Poison Jab, and it's good. I never have to worry about anything again. Uh, you know what, we're faster, let's just roost, right? What do we have to lose? I don't think it's gonna have like a rock throw or anything. I don't think Sensru gets any rock moves. Yeah, Slash, that shouldn't be half. Mm -mm. Yeah, okay, maybe with crits, but uh, even then, we are fine to just keep clicking this. This is why uh, Roost was such a, an instant learn when I uh, when I got it for Gold Bat, is because we're doing this whole one potion per battle rule, and it makes uh, potion stalling impossible. <laughs> so I get to do it with, uh, or I get to do it for free with Roost. All right. Um, and now we're gonna hit this thing with a wing attack, and whatever she's got in the back, hopefully we can take care of. I'm surprised, I thought it was gonna be the Eon Trilogy, but nope. What do we got? Dodrio. Now I really wish I'd just gone on my instinct and gone into Indigo. Um, we really just can't do shit here. And no, we're gonna get hit by like a big thrash or something, so... I say, just be smart, swap back into Indigo, and then hit it with a Thunder, or a thunder Punch. Shouldn't die or anything, unless we get like a, a Thrash crit or something. Some garbage like that, but you know, we're, we're fine here. And then we go ahead and click it with a Thunder Punch. Outspeed it, one shot it, and we're good. And I love Indigo, so cool looking. Can't wait to get. I mean, I've gotten a lot of shinies in this in this game already, but I can't wait to get my third shiny. <laughs> uh, I've gotten like six now, no five, uh, but I've only actually hunted for two. The other, well, was it just? Hang on a sec. I gotta I gotta look at something. Otherwise, I'm I'm not gonna be able to to forget. Or uh, if I don't if I don't figure this out now, I'm not gonna ever figure it out. So hang on. We're caught. Uh, that's not right. Oh no! How how did I have it sorting before? Uh, favorites on top? Is that just what I did? Fuck! I guess that sorting them like this undoes or un undoes everything that you had before. Uh, yeah, no, it does. Okay, well. Uh, yeah. So I only have five shinies. I only hunted three. These two I got while I was hunting uh, for Charmander. This one I got randomly. I could have sworn I got more when I was hunting Charmander. Did I not? It was a Firo, and then... Oh yeah, no, I just got a whole bunch of Raditas that uh, I couldn't... Or I didn't want to catch because it would ruin my, my chain, which is so hard to build with, uh, with Charmanders. If you haven't seen the video, just go watch it. Uh, it's called like Unbelievably Bad Luck Shiny Charmander, something like that. And the title doesn't lie, it was extremely bad luck. It was like a 1 in 300 chance, and I was basically like reaching full odds uh, chances. Like, I, I hunt full odds sometimes, right? I'm one of those types of people. <laughs> but uh, that was something else, that kind of luck. Like, oof. You know, I'll, I'll gladly 
hunt full odds, but when you're not going full odds, you don't want to be reaching that sort of, that sort of, oh crap, whoops, I thought we were going to two shot there. When you're not going for full odds, you don't want to be getting full odds numbers. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, hmm. What do you do? Sephiro, I think he's got more in the back. I'm going to assume he does. I, have, I, I didn't actually look. Screw it. Let's bring Nightmare in so he can click Flamethrower for the first time. We can see what it's like to use a fire move. Yes. Get flamed. Oh, finally! Taste the flames of the Black Dragon. We got a crit, too. <laughs> the most unnecessary crit. Oh, yeah. Holy one. What you got in the back? Pidgeot. Oh, yeah, we can deal with Pidgeot. Oh, God, I'm yelling again. We can deal with a Pidgeot for sure. Lady Blower. I really feel like I should start doing 20 minute episodes for this game, but like uh, on one hand I feel like they'd be a whole lot more digestible at 20. On the other hand, uh, I want this series to end quickly, not because I'm not enjoying the game, I'm loving the game, um, but because you know I want to bring other games back onto the channel. Uh, just doing this game once a day uh, is too much to add another game in, right? Can't be doing that. Oh, wow, well, we are all done here. Okay. Uh, what about these guys? Oh, just one boy. Are you done? Yep. And I feel like we've done everything up here. Yeah, we've done everything up here for sure. So that just leaves your city, I guess. So let's have a run down there. Uh, go ahead and heal. And then we'll... we'll, we'll See what we do when we get there. Whoops. A tiny little pigeon. Surprised that was a roadkill. Jeez. Okay. Can't pincer appear on this route? I remember seeing a thumbnail with pincer here. Oh, there's an item there. Oh, right. There's a whole bunch of trainers up there, too. We just haven't done all that. What was that? Oh. <laughs> I didn't even see what that was. I just saw a green blob, and I forgot Weeping Bell was here. Okay. Chop down. Gonna have like, what, two or three trainers here? That's right, I've trained every single one of them. I assume you want to get strong. Shall I be your opponent? Here I come. <laughs> Pretty apt female voice there, if I do say, say so myself. Coach Trainer Midge. Alright. You know, I, I feel like they're pulling these names out their ass at this point. Midge? Really? I think we only have one wing attack left. Oh, never mind. Golbite is dead. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Well, let's do this. Poison jab. I'm gonna start the leading back now. So audio is gonna be a little bit worse. But actually, I, I don't even know if you're gonna be able to notice it. I feel like I'm still pretty face to face with my microphone. We got burned. What did it use? What does a machoke know that burns? Fire punch? I wasn't looking. Poison jab. Can we get a poison piece? It's 30%. Okay. Wow. <laughs> he gets a 10% burn. Two poison jabs, I can't get a 30%. Oh, that's right, we're doing half damage because we're burned. Uh-oh. Um, and then I get a crit. Come on now. I'll take it though. Oh wow, I thought that was gonna do more than that. Oh, but the poison's gonna take him down with me at least. Uh, is it? I think he's going to live on, like, one health. <laughs> That'd be really annoying. Oh, my God. I feel like that was perfect. Jeez. <laughs> it looked like it took an extra chunk down there. Like, it was about to like, leave him, but it was like, eh, just kill him. Uh, right there. Why do we even have Snorlax on the team? We might as well just keep that slot empty, if we're being honest. I put a low level in so we could get free switches. Magmar. Hmm. Yeah, that Newt it just did that. It, it did the Pingu Newt. Newt! Uh, I think Wing Attack's probably where it's at. Ugh, that's not doing nearly enough. Maybe Magmar has low special defense? I don't know, let's try it. Dragon Pulse. 
That's a scary animation. Uh, same damage though. Will you stop punching me in a fiery way? And get yourself Dragon Pulse. I'm guessing we're gonna get the Fire Punch TM here. Would we wanna give that to Indigo? Probably not. I don't know. Just we've already got our fire type covered. I think we're good. Don't have to do that. <clears throat> Yeah, Fire Punch. That's a nice TM to get. I do like getting punches as a TM. That's, that's real nice. Maybe I'll teach them to my Alakazam. It's always been funny to me how <laughs> uh, Alakazam can learn like Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, all that. In in the first game, because there was no physical and special split, uh, moves like or types like Fire uh, and Electricity. You know the punch moves. Were, uh, were special types. So if you use Fire Punch on an Alakazam, it was basically like using a, just a 75 base power special fire move. So it was perfect for him. Really strong uh, on Alakazam. All around coverage. Now if you want to have a, a special fire move on him or a special... Maybe you can learn Ice Beam? Maybe you can learn Thunderbolt? I don't think so though. If you want to do that sort of thing, you have to run like Hidden Power, which is low base power, so it's hardly ever going to matter. Weird. Weird indeed, Alakazam. This is Sea King. Uh, mm. So I doubt we kill it in one shot with Thunder Punch, but let's just go for damage. Maybe we do, maybe we get... Okay, well, you know what? Why do I even ever question that? <laughs> if Indigo clicks a move, they're going to die. <laughs> forget that sometimes. Hang on a sec, I'm gonna just fix this so that it qu quits bugging me. There you go. Something off to the side of my recording stuff. Don't worry about it. It doesn't concern you, kid. Alright, grab this. Surf! Okay! Yeah, I mean, let's teach that to, uh, to Blastoise for sure. TM case. And then... Oh, we could have taught it Scald. Whoops. Uh, yeah, Surf is 90. Yeah, I feel, I feel like we would rather just do Surf, honestly. And then... Bubble Beam. It's just better. Probably would've one-shot. Um, what was it that we didn't one-shot? Oh yeah, Sand Slash, I remember. Oh, we can teach that to Indigo? Mm, that's definitely interesting. It's weird that Indigo can, Indigo can learn so many random tele or random uh, moves from TMs so can Neoqueen no, wait can it it can learn reflect that's weird that's real weird yeah we do have the TM for waterfall or waterfall oh my god that's gonna make uh, Gyarados have a monster when we get it I already got you don't tempt me all right uh, uh, let's just check up here really quick have we done everything? Probably. Uh, yeah, I think we have. Yes, yes, I, I remember that guy's... Oh yeah, and that's the guy who uh, gave us the lab coat. <laughs> that's not even a lab coat. I wish they were more, you know, creative or inspired for the... Uh... Actually, I gotta get a little closer to the mic. Let me just pick it up. There you go, that's weird. I'm holding the mic. <laughs> I, I hope it doesn't sound too awful. Let's see, if I don't, if I don't talk... No, okay. I don't know. Let's try it. Uh, I have it like resting on my chest. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, I forgot. Why do I always do this? I did like the the DHX noise. <laughs> is that what it's called? It might not be DHX. I forgot. The thing is like, you are now watching, and it goes. Right? It would be on like those old movies on the cassette tapes. No? <laughs> Anyone? Please? Uh, well, I love that I always do that to myself. I'll be in the middle of a tangent, I'll forget it, and then I'll just be like, well, time to end the episode! Harder. -er. Hope you didn't want to know what I was gonna- or, or hope you didn't want to know what I was about to talk about, because that is gone. <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna set this microphone that back down. It's gonna make a bit of a boom. Sorry about that. And that is going to do it for this episode of Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And, uh, yeah. See you next time.